As I'm sure many people can relate, I would love to have a large following on TikTok. It seems fun. I think it would be beneficial to my career. I started using TikTok early last year and I was honestly treating it kind of like a joke. My TikTok profile has kind of been my dumping ground for just the most trash videos that I make. And it's just kind of fun to scroll through your For You page, become aware of the memes, get the music stuck in your head. And that's what I treated it like for the first like eight or 10 months that I was using it. But then I started to think maybe it would actually be beneficial to my overall brand and internet presence to take TikTok seriously and actually try to grow it. Also, just because it seemed like it'd be fun to have more comments on my dance videos. And so I challenged myself to try to blow up my TikTok audience in only seven days. Here's how it's gonna go. To start off this experiment, I had just over 6,000 followers, so I definitely wasn't starting from zero. However, my goal was to at least double my following and see if I could reach 12,000 Instagram Wait, and see if I could reach 12,000 TikTok followers in seven days. So how did I get to 6,000 followers to begin with? That actually is an interesting story. Even though I had my YouTube channel and my Instagram growing at the time that I started my TikTok, I didn't really tell people about it because again, like I said, my TikTok was kind of a flaming pile of trash. <laughs> and so I actually managed to grow my TikTok with just a few kind of viral videos. The majority of my TikToks got very few views, but I had a few that kind of blew up and that is where pretty much all of my followers are from. Most notably was this video where I showed everybody how you cannot have a double chin in photos. That got like over half a million views and I think the majority of my followers came from that video. But I made that video like almost a year ago so I'm really trying to revive my TikTok presence here and see if I can get it back up and running. So the goal is 12,000 followers and how do I plan to do this? My objective is to make three TikToks a day. So posting at 10 a.m., 4 p.m., and 9 p.m. to spread them out throughout the day and to keep my TikTok super active. Now, of course, the goal is to see how much I can grow my TikTok account this week, but I know that I'm not just gonna totally stop with TikTok at the end of this seven day experiment. And you know I'm always interested in collecting as much data as I can. So I've decided for these TikToks, I'm actually gonna be rotating between three different settings and three different ways of holding my phone to record myself and three different outfits. First of all, this is just a way to kind of make it more efficient. Like I'm not gonna change outfit and position for every single TikTok, but it will also help me analyze the videos that I make after the fact and see which ones perform the best and if the way I filmed them or what I was wearing for them has an impact on the success. So that'll be another interesting thing to report on at the end of this experiment. In addition to just posting these videos, I wanna to try to make them more centered around my niche. So most of them are gonna be providing advice about social media marketing, growth on Instagram, how to start a YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. Because the idea here is to not just have a trash pile of a TikTok and to have something that actually represents my brand and will gain an audience for me that would actually maybe be interested in following me on other platforms or purchasing my services, etc. The idea is that I'm gonna start out by batch recording a ton of TikToks because realistically, there's no way I'm gonna be able to actually come up with the ideas for film, edit, and post three TikToks a day, every day for a week. And so to be more efficient, I'm gonna record all of them from the get-go. So I'm gonna record 21 TikToks in one day, and then I will post them manually throughout the week. As far as I know at this point, there is no social media scheduling platform that you can schedule TikToks with, so I will actually be logging in three times a day to post them. So let's see how this goes, and I will check in with you again at the end of the week. So I'm gonna start recording my TikToks now. I'm gonna start out in this outfit, and in this outfit, I'm gonna rotate between three different locations, and then I'll change and do another three TikToks. So let's see how long it takes me to make 21 one minute videos. <laughs> All right, so that's one TikTok recorded. I think what I'm gonna do is actually just like save the rough draft in my drafts for now. And then later I'll go back through like in a batch to add the titles and text and trim them up and make them a little bit more polished. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on getting the clips recorded. So that's one down, 20 to go. All right, I think I look sufficiently different yet still on brand. So let's go record some more TikToks. All right, that's 15 TikToks down. I'm gonna go and change into my third outfit of the day. And then I need to act fast because I've got half an hour before I'm doing another meeting. So 
Let's go record some TikToks. All right, it's taken me a few hours, but I'm officially finished recording my 21 TikToks that I'm gonna be posting over the next seven days, um, including today, I guess, which means I should get to posting my first three TikToks so that I can get this challenge started. Okay, so for day one, the posting schedule is gonna be a little bit different because it's already after 5 p.m. and I haven't posted one yet. But what I'm gonna do is post one now, then I'm gonna set myself an alarm for probably 7 p.m. and then maybe 9 p.m. and I'll post my second two TikToks for the day then. Then moving forward, I think I'm gonna set myself alarms at like 10 a.m., 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. or something like that. I still have to decide the exact posting schedule, but that is how I'm gonna remember to post my TikToks three times a day. I haven't done any of the extra editing or adding text to any of these yet, so I may end up doing that as I post them. We'll see, unless maybe I get bored this evening and just go through and do them all tonight. But it pretty much took me all afternoon to film those 21 TikToks, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and polish up just one for right now, add the text, perfect the editing, and post it right now at 5.20 p.m. on day one and then I'll worry about the rest later. All right, so it's the morning of day two of my TikTok growth challenge. So a quick check-in from yesterday. As of this morning, I've gained about 80 followers from the videos that I posted. So respectable, but not like viral growth by any means. So far, it seems like the videos that I've posted talking about YouTube strategy and growth are doing better than the Instagram growth one, which is interesting. It's like the opposite of my situation on YouTube. Anyway, we'll just see how it goes and we'll, we'll keep posting the TikToks I created and I'll let you know how day two goes tomorrow. All right, it's day three of the TikTok growth challenge and I guess we're almost at halfway and I gotta say, it's not exactly going as I expected. I was hoping to see a little bit more like viral growth at this point. So far I've gained just about a hundred followers, which to be fair on some other social media platforms would be pretty good. Like by Instagram standards, posting three photos or videos and getting a hundred followers from that would be really good. But on TikTok, it's just kind of like meh, especially when you see people gaining like tens of thousands of followers in a very short period of time, which is what I was aiming for. <laughs> well, I was hoping to gain 6,000 followers, but nonetheless, we'll see if I can recover it from this point. I am getting some engagement and feedback on my videos, which is really good. So I'm thinking what I wanna try to do is actually make some more videos in response to the engagement I'm receiving. So instead of just sticking to the exact 21 videos that I shot on day one of this challenge, I think I'm going to add in a few quick videos here and there, and you never know, those might actually be the ones that do well because in my experience on TikTok, the videos that you put the least amount of effort into get the most views, which is highly frustrating, but it's the way it is. Today is a very busy day with my regular work. I have to do invoices and all kinds of client stuff, but hopefully I can find some time later this afternoon to film a couple bonus TikToks in response to the engagement that I got on some of the videos I posted so far, and we'll see how those perform. Otherwise, I'm sticking to my regular 10 a.m., 5 p.m., and 9 p.m. posting times, and then we'll see how it goes. It is day four of the TikTok challenge, and I haven't had time yet to film those bonus TikToks that I was talking about, so hopefully this afternoon I can get around to that because I do think responding to what has performed well so far is gonna be probably the most beneficial to me, but I am trying to get a little bit of a boost in the second half of this challenge and see if we can push through and still get that viral growth that I'm looking for. So today we're bringing in the big guns and I'm finally gonna post the bikini video that I <laughs> filmed. Okay, I'm shameless, I don't care. This is, we're gonna see if this works. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back to my regular like Instagram and YouTube tips videos. But you know, I think that confidence and body positivity is important and that's what this video is all about. So we'll post it. Hopefully it doesn't get taken down or anything and hopefully it actually um, performs well. So we'll see how that does. And then of course I'm gonna post two more videos still later today. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's day four and that's 7,000 followers on TikTok. So that's exciting, that's a milestone. Um, at this point, I would be pumped if we could even hit 8,000 followers by the end of this, even though I think I set out to get to like 12,000. So anyway, not going exactly as planned, but we keep plowing forward. I'm just really feeling right now like all of that stuff that I batch recorded is just really not happening. Like it doesn't seem to be doing well on TikTok like I thought it would. So 
over these next couple days that are kind of like my final push to see if I can make this challenge happen, I'm gonna have to try to get creative and, and make some new stuff that, that is more like off the cuff and spontaneous, which I think is like what TikTok prefers kind of. So I don't know, we'll see. It's not looking great, but I still wanna keep trying. So I just kinda wanna be famous on TikTok. Like, can you blame a girl? Anyway, I gotta come up with some ideas. Welcome to day six. This has got to be the messiest challenge video I've ever attempted. Okay, so a couple updates on things that I've said I was gonna try. I have basically shifted towards just making TikToks that are kind of off the cuff and like fun new ideas. I've actually ended up leaving a few of my pre-filmed TikToks just sitting in drafts because I would rather prioritize new and fresh stuff now that I'm feeling like those just talking straight to Speaking of messy, don't you just love it when your camera dies while you're trying to get famous on TikTok? Anyway, like I said, day six, I have pretty much shifted to just posting new and fresh content and seeing how it does. So far, this video that I made showing how I turned my living room into a photo studio is also performing kind of well, but again, just kind of well, not like super viral or anything like that. Anyway, I think all around so far I have learned that the batch recording thing doesn't seem to work so well and I'm not sure if the kind of videos that I thought I could like make on TikTok to incorporate my TikTok into my brand are actually going to be successful. Nonetheless, I'm going to finish out the week and continue posting three videos a day and rather than doing a check-in video tomorrow, I will get back to you with the final results once all of this is done because clearly I do not have the capacity to keep doing these check-ins. And here we are, seven days later, and definitely not famous on TikTok. <laughs> As I said at the beginning of the video, I started off this experiment with 6,000 TikTok followers, like 6,048, I believe to be exact, and I am completing it almost exactly a thousand followers richer <laughs> with 7,050 followers. I have mixed feelings about this result. Obviously, it is not the goal that I was aiming for. I was hoping to at least double my TikTok following. I didn't do that. But on the other hand, I have to acknowledge that gaining a thousand followers in a week is pretty good. If that happened to me on Instagram, I would be blown away. I definitely do not grow that fast on Instagram and not always on YouTube either. I mean, it goes back and forth. Sometimes I might gain a thousand subscribers in a week. And so, you know, it's pretty good. It's it's not anything to sneeze at, especially not without a mask on, but it's also not what I was aiming for. Let's take a look at the TikToks I made and why I think some of them did well and some of them did not. Because really, I think there are pretty much three TikToks that are completely responsible for the growth of those 1,000 followers and the rest, should I not have even posted them? Was it a waste of time to make them? I don't know. Out of the 21 TikToks that I posted, the three that actually performed like decently, but still not like crazy well, were one, a video that I made of the bikinis that I was gonna wear this summer, like rest in peace summer 2020 <laughs> kind of thing. It doesn't surprise me that this did well, like I'm wearing bikinis, so like, come on. That's why I posted it, I, I knew it would <laughs> help me out. But still like, I only got like 6,000 views on it or something, so. I feel like it could have done better as well. The next video that performed well was a time lapse of me showing how I convert my living room into a photo studio. And the third one that performed well was one of the earliest ones I posted and it was me talking about how I make money from YouTube. The reason why I think the YouTube one did well is because I was being so open and honest about the amount of money that I make. Like I actually showed my YouTube studio revenue tab. I showed how much money I made in the past month and how it all happens. And I think people are intrigued by that. It's not something that you see a lot because a lot of people don't share so openly. In terms of the bikini one, I think it's obvious why that did well, but also because themes of like body positivity are definitely popular on TikTok. And so I think that it performed well for that reason. And finally, the living room to photo studio conversion. I think a video like that where you're showing something pretty unique, like not a lot of people have a setup where where their plants hang turns into like a place for a photo backdrop. And so I think it did well for that reason, just because it's a little bit unusual and unique. But otherwise, the rest of the videos that I made were all kinds of different, just speaking to camera videos where I was talking about like three tips for growing on Instagram, like why you need to start email marketing, three reasons why you should start a YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. 
And, like, I didn't expect any of them to really blow up, to be honest, but I thought that they would do better than just getting, like, a couple hundred views. Because sometimes I come across videos on my For You page where people are just talking to camera giving advice. So I thought, you know, maybe, like, one of these will do well. But they kind of had disappointing results. Okay, so after this experiment where we definitely didn't reach the goal we were aiming towards, I still think that I learned a lot and I'm going to be shifting my TikTok strategy going forward based on what I learned in this experiment. And maybe you can learn something from this too. Okay, so here are my main takeaways. The first thing is when I set out with this experiment, I was convinced that I needed to be posting really, really frequently. All the resources that I read and the other experiments I had seen other people do indicated that you need to post like at least three times a day to blow up on TikTok. Like you just need to keep posting. But now I'm not so sure that that actually helped me because looking back, I kind of wonder if I would have only posted those three videos that performed well, would they have done just as well even if I hadn't been posting all those other times? I think probably yes. So I don't know that it is actually that beneficial to post so frequently on TikTok. I think honestly, like once a day would probably be a good place to start. And then if you are seeing the results you want, double down on that and do it more often because that's just going to lead to more views and more growth. But I don't know, like if you're just putting out kind of mediocre content, which apparently I was, then I don't think that just doing it more often is actually going to help. But at the same time, when you're getting started and you're just kind of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks, then posting more frequently will help you figure out what does well for you sooner. Because now I know that I need to talk about money and show videos of my apartment and wear bikinis, apparently. I think that that's what does well for me. The second takeaway that I have from this experiment is that maybe not all niches actually work well on TikTok. I was pretty convinced from the outset that I needed to talk about social media marketing and Instagram advice because that's what I normally talk about here on YouTube and on my other social platforms. So I was like, I need to be on brand. I need to keep talking about that same stuff. That's what's going to do well for me. But it was kind of the videos that weren't necessarily about that that seemed to do better. So it kind of leaves me wondering, like, is giving social media marketing advice the same way I do on YouTube, is that kind of thing even going to be popular on TikTok? Maybe not. Maybe the audience isn't there for it. Maybe eventually they will be, like as TikTok continues to become more popular with different age demographics. But I don't know. I feel like people my age are already on TikTok, but I don't think they're there to hear like marketing advice. I think that that kind of thing does well in a longer form video or a podcast rather than like in a one minute soundbite because you can't really get that in depth with it. So that's something for me to consider. It makes me wonder if maybe my TikTok is going to be more variety and lifestyle based, even though that doesn't tend to like help you grow. But I don't know. I got to figure out what my TikTok thing is going to be. I don't think it's going to be giving one minute clips of advice about social media marketing. And my final takeaway, which is something that I think I kind of realized before, but this has cemented it for me. I really do think that just the more spur of the moment and spontaneous you can be with making your TikToks, I think they will actually perform better. I think the more planned and calculated they are, the less they connect with people. So all those videos that I made where I sat down and filmed talking to camera advice pieces about social media marketing, none of them really did that well because I think they came across as too overly planned and not as authentic. And I think that's the difficult thing about TikTok is that all of it is a little bit mysterious and a little bit magical and you can't plan to blow up on TikTok. You kind of just have to keep trying, making videos when you feel inspired, sometimes going along with trends and sometimes trying your own unique new thing and then just maybe you'll blow up. <laughs> I wish I had more concrete advice to give you at the end of this video, but the fact is I'm still learning too. And honestly, I considered not even making this because I was like, the whole point of this challenge was to make myself TikTok famous. I obviously did not do that. Um, maybe I shouldn't make the video. But as I'm sure you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm all about honesty and just sharing with you where I'm at and what I've learned from my experiences. So yeah, I didn't double my TikTok following. I only increased it by like a sixth, I guess. But that's okay because I learned a lot from it and I'm just gonna keep on trying and see where I can go with TikTok in the future. If you like this video about TikTok, then you might be interested in this one that I made about how to get on the For You page, analyzing why some of my past TikToks seem to perform really well and why some of them didn't. Before you go watch that though, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And let me know in the comments if you want me to experiment with something else on TikTok because I love making these experiment videos. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in this video. Okay, bye.